Okay, greetings fellow faithful. Little Nutka here, and we're going to continue the Tomb Raider series. We're moving on to Rise of the Tomb Raider. Now, when I got this on sale, it came with all the expansions, so there's probably more here than the base game. I don't know if we'll find this stuff from the expansions or not, but either way, we're starting a new game. Uh... Adventure. Focus on Laura's adventure. Combat will be easier. Combat has game assistance enabled. Enemies have lower health and damage. Tomb Raider. A good balance of difficulty. Combat has aim assist diable, disabled. Enemies have normal health and damage. Seasoned Raider. Challenging combat experience. Combat has aim assistance disabled health regeneration is only available outside of combat and we have increased health and damage and we have increased senses <coughs> excuse me push your survival skills to the limit combat has aim assist disabled health regeneration is disabled and we have increased health and damage Enemies have increased senses. More difficult enemies will be present there are fewer resources and upgrades are more expensive Extreme, the ultimate challenge. Combat has aim assist available. Health regeneration disabled. Enemies increase health and damage. Enemies have increased senses. More difficult enemies will be present. There are fewer resources. Upgrades are more expensive. The game only saves at campsites. Well, I'm not good at games, so I'm going to go with adventure because I want to know the story more than anything else. What makes someone reach beyond the boundaries of human experience to face the unknown? As children, we question the world around us. We learn, we accept, and gradually we lose our capacity for wonder. But some do not. The explorers, the seekers of truth. Oh, puppy. It is these pioneers who define the future of mankind. The others, they're done. No amount of money's gonna get them through those mountains. The lost city's up there, somewhere. That's gonna be a hell of a climb. I'm not turning back. I know. You should stay here with them. <sighs> not a chance. Well, that's a good friend. <laughs> it's really good. They're hell and back for you. <laughs> You're not... almost there. Wait till you see this view, Lara. Take my hand. <clears throat> Look at that! It's amazing! But the snow coming off those peaks is a bad sign. <clears throat> that means avalanche danger? The trail leads up the mountain. We'll have a good view of the valley beyond from the summit. All right. Let's take it easy here. Yeah, you don't want to run. Ooh! This wind is crazy! We just need to keep moving. Hey, you two are crazy. Even if we don't find anything up here, your dad would be proud. I know, but I have a good feeling about this. You two are crazy. Oh! oh. Shit! Are you okay? Lost my footing. I'm fine. Oh! oh. Da, da, da. Ah. Okay, I, I don't Those even. Clothes. Laura, are you all right? Jonah, I'm here. Okay, I'll so. I'll climb down there and get you. No, it's too dangerous. I can climb back up. Are you sure? Just stay. 
Stay put. At least controls aren't that different. I'm grateful for that. Aren't those icicles? Okay, it's to the side. There we go. I need to jump across. Yeah. Okay. Now grab my hand. Oh. oh. That looked painful. Shit, Lara. You're gonna give me a heart attack. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Come on. Looks like we gotta go through. You two are crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. <laughs> Not bad. If the weather turns, we can hold up in this cave. Do you really think we'll find this lost city? I know this is a long shot, but that old tracker said he saw ruins up in these mountains. There's icicles everywhere. Storm's getting closer. We have a couple hours at most. Should be enough time. We're almost to the top. Cutting. What do you think? We're close to something, Jonah. I can feel it. Just as last stretch to the top. All right. Let's see what's up there. <laughs> A buddy line? Feels pretty solid, but yep. too close to the wall. A buddy line. Okay. Looks like we climb from here. Keep your eyes open for falling ice. Right. You put. <sighs> okay, so you want me to just go ahead? Okay. Oh. Let's, ice up here. Let's take it slow and steady. Just stay with me. Laura! 
Can you hear me? Yeah. I'm gonna pull you back up. Oh, fuck! Run, 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 jump! Grab, grab! Run, 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 jump! cutscene. <sighs> I always forget these games are very energetic. greatest cruelty of life that we're all too swiftly taken from it we age we decay we die but what do we leave behind bones dust what of the soul does it endure beyond our earthly existence I believe it does a truth lies at the heart of many myths and stories. A truth not of science, but something more profound. The key to unlocking everlasting life. I may have found the next piece to the puzzle, but I'm not alone in this search. They're following me, watching my every step. I know them by name now. Trinity. An ancient, violent sect with designs on controlling the future of humanity. I must proceed carefully for the sake of my family. If anything were to ever happen to Lara or Anna, I could never forgive myself.
It's me. Hannah! Oh, God! I'm so sorry. What are you doing here? I saw the gutter press was attacking you again. I thought you could use some company. No lies. Were you followed? Followed? Of course not. What's going on? I think I found the tomb. Oh, you can't be serious. The myth of the Prophet is real. Dad was right. Lara, your father was... unwell. No. He was close to a great discovery, tangible evidence of the immortal soul. I loved Richard. I would have married him if he'd asked. But he was a broken man. I don't want to see you end up like him. But Anna, he was right. It was everyone else who was wrong. The tomb's in Syria. Syria? Oh God, Laura, no. This is madness. Get your life sorted. Go home to the manor. You know I can't go back there. But this obsession ruined your father. I saw something. Something I... I can't explain. Now I understand what Dad was going through. It's all fairy tales. Nonsense. Don't go down this road. You know where it leads. It's the only thing that makes sense to me now. I'm going to find the Prophet's tomb. <laughs> There's been oasis in the canyon just ahead. You're wasting your time. There's nothing out here. Just keep driving, please. It's your money. Something isn't right. Oh, that's just local militia. You told someone, didn't you? They, they paid better than you! You both! Damn! Damn this road! Shit! They weren't supposed to shoot at us! Get us out of here! Shit! Shit! Habit of falling down. You know that? You're always no, falling. Back. It has to be here. Mm. Oh, hi, bird. Hi, birdie. research about this. It was said the Prophet's tomb was hidden in the cliffs above one of the forgotten cities. Legend speaks of an oasis where the Prophet was laid to rest. You're crazy. Whoa. <sighs> oh, geez. You're so crazy.
Well, there's water. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but there's water. Incredible. Some kind of marker. I can't quite make out the translation, but this word. Chamber Merles. Okay. All right. Translate. Okay, he's shown here performing healing miracles. Dad's notes mentioned this. Okay. Mm, it's some sort of marker. Byzantine script, but I can't quite make it out. These are the miracles of the Prophet of Constantinople, unjustly murdered by order of Trinity. It's the Prophet, speaking with a foreign army, he convinced them to lay down their weapons. He led his followers through the desert, to the oasis. But can I translate the central? Still no sign of her. I don't think she survived the crash. All right, let's go. Constantine wants to breach the tomb before sundown. <sighs> They're after the tomb. I've got to find it before them. Hmm, my Greek is still a little rusty, but it's pointing to something hidden nearby. I'll mark down the location. Okay, prayer beacon. I'll come back, thank you. Uh, oh, something hidden. Coin catch. Okay. All of those, uh... hmm. the secret entrance. Okay, 
so not quick time. Like before, so okay. Trinity pursued the Prophet and his people relentlessly until finally confronting them in their hidden oasis. Ugh. Hi, Scorpion. Please don't touch me. Creepy Away crawlies. Through. Creepy crawlies. My son, the Order of Trinity has received word that the Prophet's followers are building a great tomb at an oasis outside Berea. But more upsetting, while we thought they were building the tomb for their Prophet, Trinity now believes he still lives. We have learned he is preaching his heresy among the local citizens, drawing more to him daily with his tales of how he conquered death. He is a liar and a heretic, claiming miracles that come only from the divine. You swore he was dead. Have you failed us? Okay. Oh, I can save my game at any time. Okay, that's handy. In fact, I'm going to have to save here. Save game. Okay. That did save it, right? I'll double check here. Because I'm going to have to leave this episode here. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And if you can, support me on Patreon. I'll see you next video. Bye!